Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Exponents, Special Cases. Let's say that you're standing in line, and someone asks, who's next? The way you describe your position in line is with an ordinal number. First, second, third are all examples of ordinal numbers. Let's see how this relates to exponents. When saying an exponent, use the phrase raised to the ordinal power. We just mentioned that ordinal is talking about the position. Here I have two charts. I have the exponent version of the number, the exponential form, and then I have the ordinal version of the number. So here I have n, the base, with a power or exponent of one. So we say this as n to the first power. So naturally, n to the second power would be a base of n and an exponent of two n to the third power would be a base of n and an exponent of 3. Pause the video and see if you can fill the rest of this chart in. I know that n to the fourth power is has an exponent of 4, so the ordinal is n to the fourth power. And this one, n with an exponent of 5, is n to the fifth power. Because I have a sixth power here, I have a base of n and an exponent of 6. Now, there are a couple of special cases. We always say exponents as raised to the ordinal power, but for this exponent right here, we can say that this is n squared. This should sound familiar, squared, because we use it all the time when we talk about area. This exponent to the third power can be called n cubed. This should also sound familiar from a previous lesson on volume. Now let's investigate some special cases. So on this one, I have n to the first power. I know that the exponent is gonna tell me that I rate the base a specific number of times. And I'm gonna be multiplying each of those bases. There's nothing to multiply here because I'm simply just going to write the base. So anytime that I see n to the first power, I'll just write the base. Anything raised to the zero power is unique. This does not mean the base multiplied by another number. When it is n to the zero power, it means the base divided by itself. So this is really n divided by n. And because we know anything divided by itself will always be one, whenever you have an exponent of zero, you can assume that your answer is going to be one. There is an exception to this, of course. Zero to the zero power would be zero over zero. Since I can't divide anything by zero, zero to the zero power is the only exponent that's undefined. Let's try some examples. Pause the video and see if you can find out what 11 to the first power and 1001 to the zero power is. For 11 to the first power, you should have simply wrote, written the base once, which is 11. And for this, we should have said 1001 divided by 1001, which is one. Two more examples below. x to the zero power really means x divided by x, which is one. And zero to the zero power we just mentioned is undefined because zero divided by itself is not allowed. We cannot divide by zero. Let's recap. An ordinal number is just the number's position. There is another way to say an exponent of two or three. Anything to the second power is squared and anything to the third power is cubed. We know that an exponent of one will always be the base. An exponent of zero means the base divided by itself. All bases raised to the zero power except for zero will be one. And zero to the zero power is undefined because you cannot divide something by zero. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click the red subscribe button so you'll always have access to this and other lessons. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time.